looking at the nature of the goals, a, a little bit nervy at the back tonight, you know, even the, reflecting on the goalie a little bit, he's, he's been amazing all season, and then oh, a little bit of uncertainty, the two young 18-year-olds in front of him, of course, you can half understand it. Could the season get much worse for Blackburn Rovers after they suffer their fifth defeat on the spin? Next up for Tony Murray is his old boys, Coventry City. Could that be the match that ends it all? Of course, we'll take a look at that and much more next. Review this to look back at Blabberova's latest defeat. That's five on the spin up against Watford, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new to the channel, where the heck have you been, boys? Smash your subscribe to get bang up to date with all things a Blabberova's late championship related, world football related. We got a dog here on the Waruski. That's right, bloody Nora. Uh, despite a talismatic effort, uh, our boys just kept on keeping on, tried to dig out Mowbray out of this whole shithole, but unfortunately, it's another one. Five defeats in the spin. 3-2 loss against Watford. I guess we'll talk about that in a minute. A big, big shout out once again to the VIP Band of Brothers. Of course, the Patreons. I'm just looking. I'm looking at the stats right now. It's the same shit every bloody day right now. I cannot. I cannot. I said it on stream. I cannot see the last time Rovers put a smile on my face. Even though the win, okay, well, there was a bit of a smirk when we beat uh, Mid uh, Middlesbrough, of course, with uh, with uh, with Warnock and his shit show and all that kind of stuff. But uh, the smiles have been few and far between. Um, I'm starting to get depressed, and I'm a I'm a I'm a uh, I'm not a Debbie Downer. I'm the opposite of a Debbie Downer. Uh, a Lucy Loopy, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. But anyway, shit show, let's get into it, take a look at it all, of course. Uh, but again, if you're a sports channel, check out the link down below, patreon.com. Here it is, the stats. We'll take a look at the stats in more detail in a second, but here are the goal scorers. 3-2 uh, in the end, Jao Pedro with the scrappy dappy do. It made it look fancy, but it wasn't fancy. It was more luck than anything else. Uh, to give Watford the lead, uh, high ball, Kaminsky made a bloody meal out of it. And, and this was probably the first match that I would say that Kaminsky let me down. Yep, he did. he let me down today with a couple of shit show performances. But he can't help himself when when his back line, when he is babysitting the back bloody four. Honest, honestly, three of the back four are loanies. Three of the back four, realistically, at the end of the day, they don't give two shits about this badge. The only one I could say that gives a shit, in a way, would be Nyambe. Coming through the academy, he must be thinking, what am I doing? Now, he's, he's, he's been put in a rock and a hard place because... He's a, he's a Rovers boy through and through. Come through the academy. We've had him since he was a baby. You know what I mean? But now he's getting to a point where his contract's running out. He is a decent little player. He can play uh, on the continent. He can, he can play even... I think he can play in the Premier League. It might not be first choice uh, at the Premier League, but he can definitely be... If, if matey boy could play, can get the books at West Brom, Nyambi could easily get in the books somewhere in the Premier League. So he's he's thinking, do I knuckle down? And, and, and Well, he should knuckle down, of course, but... Is he? Is he? Is his, is, his, is his heart gone? Is is the whole vibe around the place lost? And the likes of Nyambe, the one and only full time, the full time player, Rovers player, wearing the bloody badge on his skin, is 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 he's the only guy there carrying that back four. Uh, and today, we were just we looked like it was. I don't know, babysitter's club, youth club, whatever you want to call it, not good enough. Uh, but yeah, Pedro's scrappy-dappy-do goal, you'll look at it, some Watford guys will make it sound like it was a, something special, but it wasn't. It was a bit jammy, to be fair. But all all fault on Kaminsky on that one. Uh, Ismaili Sarr also got, uh, I can't remember, I think that was the, I think that was a better goal. Uh, I think it might have also been a bit scrappy as well, to be fair, a bit of a scrappy-dappy goal. But Harvey Elliott did ping us back in there. And, you know, all the headlines, all the highlights, all the positive that come out of this goes on that young man's shoulders. Nothing else. There is nothing else you can spin about this. You know, the Liverpool fans will be thinking, oh, yeah, Harvey Elliott got another goal. Look, another fantastic performance. But the rest of us are shit. There is no passion in that, in that 11. And there was moments. Again, you can look it back on the stream. Um... When we were going forward, again, when we were going forward, it's pedestrian. But there might be, like, Adam Armstrong might be, uh, uh, or guns blazing, running down the field, but the support is not there. You know, there's no pressure. Back in the start of the season, all this high-tempo pressure, there's bullshit pressure right now. Zero. 
Everybody's trying to catch their breath or they just can't be arsed driving forward. There's nobody saying, get your ass moving, move forward. It was all pedestrian, all going backwards. Uh, and the, guy, the, the one or two guys going forward had zero support. And we saw that countless today. Uh, and the only guy pulling a, a busting along was Harvey Yeah, You could even say Rothwell was busting a, a gut, but he could only had a couple moment, momentary sort of glimpses. Uh, but Harvey Elliott got us back into it at 43 minutes at halftime. Yeah, kind of rebooted the system. I'm getting a bit more positive at halftime. But uh, then Ken Zermo pretty much wrapped it up on the 61st minute with a, with a pretty good goal. And then uh, Brereton made a little bit scrappy, but unfortunately... It was too late. Too late in the day. Um, again, we'll take a look at the stats in more, in more detail in a minute. Uh, here they are. And again, you have a look at the formation. 4-3-3. They're saying Branthwaite's captain. What a bag of shit. Who scores? Sort your shit out, mate. Armstrong was wearing the captain Branthwaite. What a joke. And I, I won't probably put it past them that this formation wasn't used. I think it was probably a 4-2-3-1, but uh, whatever. Uh, of course, the possession goes in favour of Rovers. 52.5% possession. We get all the possession. But guess what? Don't do shit with it. Don't do shit. It's all about keeping ball, and the and the and the and the intensity or the the there's a minute to go, half time, minute to go. We're in their they're in their area. Surely there's some communication. Mowbray, somebody shout on the pitch. You've got 20, 30 seconds left. Have a bloody go at it. Don't just tiddle around with it and and just pass it backwards and waste your time. You're chasing the game. The, you've got your tails up. You just scored. Keep on kicking on. But right now, no one has the desire. You look through this team. Realistically, you're, 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 yeah, like I said, but, well, in fact, we'll look at the team in a minute. Of course, pass success rate, pretty even, Steven. 72% success rate for both of the sides. Uh, they had 17 shots. Fair play to them. They, of course, uh, stepped up to the plate. We had 10 aero duels. Surprisingly, we won. I don't know how many. We had seven corners. I think one of them was a, you could actually call a corner. The rest were your shitty short corners. Um, so take a look at the starting levels. Here we go. Of course, Kaminsky between sticks. Douglas, Brathwaite, Harwa Bellis, and Nyambe were your back four. Three of those guys on low. Two of them were probably still got nappies on. They are still youngsters, and they are. We are putting our faith in those two, low knees, because. Mowbray's uh, in airtight with, of course, Ancelotti and Pep Guardioli. Must play, my boys. Uh, you know what? You could figure something else out. You could figure something else out, especially when you're pinning your hopes on two guys that realistically, when they go home, they're throwing their shirt in the in the, in the laundry. They don't give two shits. Uh, they'll be on their phone to their bodies at Manchester City, at bloody Everton, giving them the what for about the game. They're not going to be uh, crying about this game and thinking, you know what? We're shit and we're in trouble. We're dragging this team down. No, they're not going to think about that. They're thinking next season, well, I wonder where I can go on loan next. Or maybe I can go to a Premier League club. I don't know. They're not really thinking about this. Uh, Niambi might be thinking about this, but he might be thinking about, oh, you know, I've got a, I got a, I got a swan off next season. I'm going to leave this uh, blue and white halves in the shitter. Uh, then you move forward and then look at Rothwell, Travis and Evans. For whatever reason, that did not work. Um, we need, we've missed, we've missed the likes of Bradley Johnson, a commander, a big boss man midfielder. I absolutely did little black flip, back flips when we signed Bradley Johnson. Again, he's been uh, cursed with injuries. We don't see tribal uh, these days. Holtby as well. Uh, we look at, and, and, and at the end of the season, uh, I think we might lose Corey Evans as well. I don't know. Uh, Rothwell potentially going. Uh, Holtby potentially going. Uh, Bradley Johnson, Elliot Bennett, Stuart Downing. Five, that's five off the top of my head that all contracts expire at the end of the season. Where's the tenac Where's the desire to get these guys signed up? If Moby's going to be sticking around, he knows the deal. If he's going to be jerking us along for the next three or four months to think, yeah, 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 mate, yeah, we, we're, we're going to sort these contracts out. Let us know. Is Rothwell in your plans? Is Evans in your plans? Oh, it's just frustrating. And then when you look at this team, Travis came through the academy. Where's the desire? Where's that? Where's that scrappy dappy do player that we that we loved last season? He's not here right now. Uh, is it because he's he's uh, uh, starved of support? Bradley Johnson usually was in there four two three one. Of course, it was it was Travis and one other last season. And then moving forward. That's a bag of shit when we move forward. Elliot, we're pinning our hopes. We are pinning our hopes on a 17-year-old Loney, who is very, very good. I'll give it you that. And he does show passion. You know, he, he came with a bit of a bad record, uh, did Elliot, with, of course, his, his little troubles that he got in his Fulham days and Liverpool days early, you know, early on, like a kids do, as kids do. But he's come here, he's stepped up to the plate. He's been a terrific uh, example for the shirt. And he's and he's here on loan. He's... he's I think Klopp's had a word in his ear, so kick on, have a, have a good season. And he's, and he's taken this season with a bit between his teeth. And he's been a true example. As for Dak, you know, he is, look at this, the FIFA ratings. Supposed to be the best player on the on the pitch here. We are not getting the best out of him. He looks 
a uh, 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 trodden man, a man that's been put through the for the for the garbage disposal for one another word. He's not himself at all. And if he didn't have the name Dak on a shirt, you would be saying get rid. You would be saying get rid. But we know there is a quality player in there. He's just lost at the moment. It, it something needs to be started, rebooted. And in fact, a lot of this team needs a good hard kick at the arse. Is Moby the man the, the kick up at the arse? I know apparently he's got best buds in the in the in the camp, and he's also trying to keep a lot of people sweet. But realistically, we need somebody to come in here and and bring the 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 I don't know Satan out of the lot of these. Just kick up their asses and then uh, strike the fear, strike the fear of them because they should be playing for this. They we're paying for this. Yeah, getting paid. They get a pay to play, get a pay to play what all of us would do out of a drop of a hat. And what all of us do, we might not be as good as them, but we would definitely play for this. We would play for the bloody badge. You know what I mean? And right now, it's an embarrassment watching this. An absolute embarrassment. And you know, if Moby ain't going to walk away, what could we do? What can we do? We might fluke a win at Coventry, but guess what? When you look at us around the corner, you'll be, you'll be having nightmares. I'm having nightmares. We've got Reading around the corner. We've got Brentford not too far away. Who else? We've got Swansea not too far. We've got Brentford. We've got Norwich. They're all coming. They're all coming. And guess what? They, they, they've got their own scores to settle. They've got their own stuff to do. We could be here. We might fluke a win. One, and then it might change. It might reset the blocks a little bit to like one win in, in six or one win in whatever. But guess what? At the end of it, at the end of this run, it'll be like 10 defeats at the past 11. And the only positive was that commentary win. And we're supposed to be singing and dancing for this season. No, sorry, I, I'm, 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 I've, I've lost it. I've lost it. I really look. Look, I'm looking at this start of the season. You think, yep, not too bad. We got Douglas here, supposed to be one of the best left backs. You know, a decent left back at Leeds. Should be all right at this level. Should be. Should be uh, pinging the balls in. Should be belting the belting the bloody corners in. No, we tell you those shit ass short corners. And then we got these two hot prospects coming from Everton. Harbour oh, Ballast. They come with a good, with a good reputation. They've been shit so far. Or Brathwaite has just been shit for the past few games. Nyambe. I don't know what's going on there. Probably I, I rate him as one of the best right backs in the division. He looks like his heart's been ripped out at the moment. Rothwell. Where's the tenacity? Where is the get up and go? Where are where is that that movement that zigzag the dynamism? It's lost. The heartbeat is gone. Uh, Evans, you know we've only seen you a couple of times, but uh, I'm not. You know you you're kind of like vanilla. I can't really get excited about you know for you, Dak. We need to, we need you back. We need your bloody back, Dak. Cut out the flipping ice creams and and and, and Mars bars and, and and just get back onto the take a leaf out of forest green. Go vegan for a little bit. Get lean, mean and clean. We need you at your best. Armstrong, where's the goals gone, son? Where's the goal, son? Elliot, just keep on keeping on. I'm just I'm just I'm up to here with it. I'm up to bloody here with it. Oh, coverage. Oh, these are my match ratings. And I'm being a bit generous here. I'm not even going to read out the numbers. I can't give Nayambi less than a six. He's, he's like my little baby. I can't give it to him. And Evans, I gave him a six because he was vanilla. He was not boring. He, he, he kind of dug his heels in a little bit. But uh, I really... And, and, and Elliot, of course, without him, we're nothing. We're nothing. Substitutes bring on Downing. You get you, you tease me. You tease me with the Conor McBride. You tease me with the Pike. <sighs> He's a striker. He's clinical. He would have. I would have thrown him in, Mowbray. I would have thrown him in here. So of course your opposition, Batman, and a Batman between the sticks, Messina, So Ataldo, Christ, Kukong, and Femina. Cleverly used Gosling, Semina, the other Pedro, and up top there, of course. Phenomenal. Uh, yeah, I'd love, I'd love to be Watford at this moment. Uh, on the cusps of automatics. They're going to sneak in there. I'm sure they are. Uh, we had 625 touches to their 586. 413 passes to their 369. Uh, did we hit the word work? No. Did we have any? Uh, we had five shots on target. 50% success rate there. there they had uh, just seven. Any saves? Let's talk about saves here. I don't know. Shit-ass penalties. I'll tell you what, though. This is the heat map. As you can see, Rovers, all the touches and shit like that. But it means bugger all. It really does mean bugger all. Anyway, believe it or not, uh, here's the gaffer with his words of wisdom after this match. I think we have to say that we played against a good team tonight. You could feel their quality right from the start, really. They've got a very experienced team. You know, I think Hughes, Cleverly, Gosling, you know. And then never mind the front three that cost, well, I don't know, much at 90 million quid or something they cost. I think the front three at... Um, 
you could feel their threat on you know when they broke away the speed and the power of them um, I thought we dug in I thought we give an account of ourselves I think we could have even sneaked a, a draw there at the end of that ball bouncing around the six yard box whether we would have deserved it I don't know because they're, you know, as I said they're a decent football team and um, but yeah listen. if anything we were looking at the nature of the goals a, a little bit nervy at the back tonight you know even the, reflecting on the goalie a little bit you've, he's been amazing all season and then oh, a little bit of uncertainty the two young 18 year olds in front of him of course you can half understand it and um, so yeah a, a disappointing night for us a frustrating night uh, but you know I again there's some individual good, good performances you know Armstrong's looking a Premier League player and uh, Avi Elliott's Wow, what a talent! I um, thought Brereton came on, did well. I thought Rothwell was good tonight. Um, yeah. Um, listen, it, it, I, I haven't got much to say other than we played against a good side. They took the points. We worked really, really hard. We gave it our best shot, and we fell a bit short. Maybe, but also that there's two young boys who are, who are finding their way in football, and that's not a criticism because I think they're doing fantastic to play at this level at, at 18 year old in such a crucial position. But um, no, they've never played together. This is the second game ever that they've been thrust together, and and um, and I think the uncertainty is is there because there's no time for for us to work on defensive shape, defensive organisation and, and, and again as I say uh, quite a lot these are not excuses and yet from one game to the next you are basically cooling down, having a massage, getting a rub and then you've got one day to do a, a less than a one hour preparation for the next game and, and with new defensive um, centre half partnership it's you don't have three days to work attack v defence and put them in the right positions and get their body shape right for when the crosses are coming in and all of the stuff you would do with your back four that uh, hopefully you're consistent with all season but um, that hasn't been the case all year for us and um, yeah listen I, I think both young lads are doing exceptionally well to, to compete at this level against some pretty good footballers out there tonight and um, but it wasn't to be yeah listen it was a, it was a, a, a felt like a kick for us really the first goal was just a Hopeful lob over the top, or whether we played offside, the ball didn't bounce on the pitch. It had been raining incessantly all night. It just didn't bounce. Thomas got himself in no man's land, and yeah, it doesn't it ended up in the back of our net. I think the second ball was a cross that came in the box that maybe should have been cleared, but again the ball was skidding or not bouncing on the surface, and it ricocheted around, and they ended up putting it in. Um, we went chasing the game a little bit, and you know, so the third goal was a little bit, you know. 3v3, 2v2 around the edge and he just gets a yard and it sort of just, I don't know, squirms in the bottom corner really. Um, frustrating. You know, we had half, half chances, things, whoa, it, could have, it could have broke for us, it didn't quite break for us. Um, and we have to accept it, Listen, as, as I said at the start, let's give them some credit, they're a good football team, they came out the Premier League and, um, you know, as I said in the build-up, you know, Sarri, Sarri cost 40 million quid on his own, the other centre forward was 30 million and it's, it's um, yeah, we have to accept it sometimes that good players can hurt you. OK, what's been going on on social media then? Let's take a little look then, shall we? Of course, Lewis Hartley always likes to ping me uh, a tweet. Uh, poor first half, decent second, unlucky not to get a point out of it, in all fairness, but can see how much Mowbray has lost the dressing room. No fight in the players or passion. Only bright player is Elliot. Armour is a very poor captain. It should be Travis. Mowbray out. Um, what's this? Blackburn Rovers forever. Who's this fella? Uh, Rovers 4. Absolutely devastating as uh, as a Rovers fan at the moment. Five losses in a row. Playoffs gone. Not good enough. Brathwaite lost the plot since Preston game. Dreading next season when Armour and Elliot go. We are in trouble. Uh, also, Preston Nobed are above us. What's that about? Uh, of course, um, Talk of Ewood brought this stat to our attention. 21 minutes, 100% pass accuracy, dribble success, tackle success, shot accuracy, one goal. That's cameo from big bad boy Brereton. James Green said this pathetic. I don't care if it's Watford. We're down to 15th with the best team we've had in years. We've somehow got the worst uh, since Dak and Travis came back. What's that all about? Indeed. Uh, Brian Kenny said this. Score two and get nothing due to soft goals again. Better side, second half, but always looked like conceding when they broke. Uh, better team finished the game than started uh, again. Uh, Dan Coop said this. He had a little 
a jiffy here. Rovers fans, when they are let back into the stadium, only to find Moby still in charge. Adam Lodge said, under 23s uh, with zero experience in the championship and it's showing. I said before season started, if we are uh, uh, were unlucky with injuries, we could find ourselves in trouble. Looking likely to be a relegation battle now. Um, rock and run, 85. Please go, Tony, before your legacy is totally ruined. Sean Slater. I don't mind losing tonight, but one, I want us to actually play football. Two, if we go a goal down, I don't want us to roll over and wait for them to scratch our bellies. And three, again, if we go a goal down, I want to see Tony Murray acting like a rocket's just got off in his ass. Again, that's only a, a short and sweet of what's going on on the old social media. Check it out. Make sure you check out the brfcs.com forum. I'm sure it's going to be a Bobby Dazzler over there. Uh, of course, let's take a look at what else went on out of the championship. Here we go. Of course, Derby got themselves a win over Huddersfield, keeping up the movement there with Wayne Mooney FC. I laughed at that. I laughed at their point. I also laughed at the appointment of Cardiff. Look at them right now. Of course, Middlesbrough got themselves handed to a plate by, of course, Nigel Pearson uh, earlier. That was on th Tuesday. Birmingham got themselves beat as well by Norwich. They're looking in trouble. Rotherham also losing as well to Forest, who are on the rise. Luton Town 1-1 over Millwall. Wickham uh, got the win of the week uh, over Reading. One win over, of course, uh, relegation threatened Wigan up against playoff chasing Reading. Brentford got back to win ways with a 3 0 win. Swansea also with a 1 0 win over Contry. Uh, Barnsley kept on keeping on with a 2 0 win over Stork. Uh, Preston nil keep on in on again. Cardiff winners over Bournemouth. Uh, of course, on the shit show, that is us against Watford. Uh, of course, it's the table as it stands. Look at Watford sitting pretty in a win for them. They could go second. Uh, so Rose, we're down into 15th. They win for them. They're us in the next game. We could go as high as 12th. But again, that's just a daydream in Wickham uh, going down alongside Sheffield Wednesday and Rotherham. Uh, but it could also change very, very soon again. We'll have a preview of the next game, which is the Goods against Coventry uh, on Saturday. I'll be live for that one. I might have a, quite a few lives on that day. I've got uh, I've got guests in the house, but I get the uh, get the man pad to myself. So we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be kicking up. Uh, we're gonna be we'll be living at large. Yeah. We've got the old DJ out. Yeah, mixing some tunage. And we might even do the live on Friday. Of course, Derby against Forest in a bit of a derby right there. Bournemouth against Watford. The early game might do that one as well. I've got so many options. Uh, of course, Rotherham against Reading in the Battle of the R's. Preston against Huddersfield as well. Barnsley against Millwall. Swansea against Bristol City. Luton Town against Sheffield Wednesday. Bramford against Stoke. Birmingham against QPR. Meadows, bruh. Against Cardiff. The Warnock Derby. Wickham against Norwich on Sunday. And that's it. i got to go. i got to get myself to sleep. It is knocking on 10 p.m. I've got to edit. I've got to get these suckers online. I do appreciate your support, though. Please give the video some love and smash the old thumbs up. Smash your subscribe. Check out the links down below. I'm on Twitter, Facebook. And again, if you want to become the latest brother of another mother and support the channel, check out the links. Patreon.com forward slash I'm out. I'm wearing a waist shirt. It's okay. Because uh, we're shit. We're shit wherever we go. Anyway, sort it out. Maybe there's going to be breaking news overnight. We'll see. I doubt it. But... Uh...